Kia everybody. Today's episode is going to be all about the alien-like beasties that are New Zealand mantis. I'm lucky to have quite a few of them in my garden. Uh, most of them hang out here amongst the green foliage. It's a nice sunny spot. So let's find out more about these crazy creatures. The New Zealand mantis love to eat. They have very large appetites, which is great news in your garden because they often feed on the pest insects, including this cabbage white butterfly. This fella is a male New Zealand mantis. He has wings that extend well past the end of his abdomen and has long ginger antennae. Ash, can you see that bright blue and purple patch on the inside of his front legs? Both male and female mantis have that patch and it's a distinguishing feature for this species. What's our cheeky chap up to? Looks like mischief. He certainly seems to be on a mission. He's on the trail of a female mantis. Female mantis release smelly chemicals called pheromones, which are irresistible to the males. Unfortunately, male New Zealand mantis are more attracted to the pheromones from South African mantis compared to New Zealand mantis. More often than not, if he tries to mate with a female South African mantis, he'll get chomped. But fear not, he's found a New Zealand lovely lady, so he should be safe. Blimey, that looks a bit, uh, awkward. Ash, it's good news. They're at the first stage of making babies, and we need lots of babies because New Zealand mantis are under threat. They have been replaced by the South African mantis across much of the North Island, which is a real bad thing. Soon this female will lay a neat looking egg case and the babies or nymphs will hatch in spring. Good luck little mantis nymphs! Now that's over and done with, these mantis can get back to what they enjoy doing best. Eating. An adult New Zealand mantis can eat up to 25 juicy flies in one day. That's a lot of flies. Hey Emily, who's this feisty character? It's a male South African mantis. These mantis only arrived in New Zealand in 1978 and unfortunately they're displacing the New Zealand native species throughout most of the North Island. There are two main ways to tell these beasties apart. The first is to do with body shape. The thorax is the body segment just under the head. Our New Zealand mantis has a thorax the same width as its head. In the South African mantis the thorax is quite a bit narrower than the head. Ash, can you remember the second way to tell them apart? Yeah, for sure. The New Zealand praying mantis has a vivid blue and purple patch on the inside of its front leg. The South African mantis has a few tiny dark spots on the inside of its front legs, but they look really different to the distinct blue and purple spot on our kiwi fella. You can see the purple and blue leg spot really well in this clip of a New Zealand mantis eating yet another fly. Don't you guys ever get full? Their egg masses also look totally different. New Zealand mantis have neat egg masses with steep woody looking sides and numerous figure of eight holes or entrances. The South African mantis egg mass looks like someone has put a messy dollop of tan coloured shaving cream on your fence. Our wonderful New Zealand mantis needs all of the help it can get. Keep New Zealand mantis safe by avoiding the use of pesticides and other chemicals in your garden. If you're confident with your identification skills, you might want to consider taking out the South African invaders and their eggs. But if in doubt, leave them to do their thing. At least you know who's who now. For today's task, we'd like you to go on a mantis hunt. If you find a mantis, take a picture and let us know if it's an all black or a springbok. If you can't find a live mantis, post up a drawing of one instead. You'll find some resources in the link below. Until then, stay safe and watch out for those South African mantises. <laughs> no.
Smells like chicken in here. <laughs>